Nazareth. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. you is great. You are 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 great. Worship you today. You are great. I lift my voice and say. One more time. Oh, you are great. 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 You are 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 Father, we ask tonight in the name that's above every name, throw your weight around and prove to the devil that you are master. Let the sick be healed, the lost be found. Let someone's life receive direction. Let someone's life receive order. In Jesus' name we pray. Give the Lord a hand as you take your seat. I need to bring the word of God to us and then we'll go into the move of the spirit and scatter in a thousand directions. Thank God for your pastor, pastor. Huh? Nel, what's your other name? Your son? Huh? No. What's your son's name? Osadolo. Nelson Osadolo. Thank God for you. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for what's going on here. Give the Lord a hand for them. In Omega Fire Ministries, we are experiencing the power of God. Lives are changing, I tell you. I'm telling you, things are happening. Angels are at work here. Thank you, choir. Maybe say, I like what you're wearing. Give the choir a good hand for their outfits. Amen. Hola, senior pastors. Thank you. JC, our national pastor for Austria. Thank you very much. And everyone, thank you. Those of you who came from Vienna. How many of you are from Vienna? Okay. Awesome. God bless you. Break your Bible if you have one to Luke chapter 5. Luke 5. Luke 5. We'll do 1 to 4. Verse 1 to verse 4. Of Luke chapter 5. Have you found it? And it came to pass at the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and we are washing their nets and they entered into one of the sheep which was Simon's and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship and when he had left speaking he said unto Simon launch out into the deep and let down 
your net for a drought. The fast of favor. Somebody say the fast of favor. Say that loud and clear. Life does not give you what you deserve. Life is not fair. Listen to me. The world we live in is created by God but ruled by wickedness. God created this world in the temptation of Jesus. Satan took Jesus around the earth in a moment of time. You know what he said to him? He said everything here is mine. And Jesus did not argue. If he was lying about it, Jesus would have said, you are a liar. Jesus kept quiet. He said, if you worship me, I will give it to you. And guess what Jesus said? Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone shalt thou serve. Jesus didn't argue. So that established a point that Jesus knew that wickedness controls the world. I'm laying the foundation as we go on. Jesus was walking and standing by the lake of Gennesaret and there were two sheep that were standing. That word is implicated because sheep don't stand. They sit. The sheep were standing. But the fishermen were not there. Sir, not every sheep that is standing has a fisherman that is happy. There are some sheep that are standing. There are some people that are well dressed. There are some people that appear good. They are looking good just to cover up so many pains in their heart. Not everyone you see dressing well. Not everyone you see looking good is good inside. The sheep were standing, but the fishermen were out of them. There are some of you you put on your clothes. You appear well it's because you don't want people to know what you are covering but jesus was standing he knew what the sheep were going through he knew the fishermen were frustrated there are some things you cannot tell your friends there are things you cannot tell your loved ones some of you cannot even tell your spouse you can't tell your wife you can't tell your husband god is about to attend to it i said god is about to attend to it i said power is about to attend to it God is about to attend to it. Take your seat. The press on him to hear the word. When you put pressure on the world, you get pleasure in this world. Anything God must do for a man must go with a word. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word, Luke chapter 4, verse 4, man shall not live by bread alone. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3, man shall not live by bread alone. Matthew 8, verse 8, the centurion said, speak the word only. My servant shall be healed. Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent his word. And his word, he led them and delivered them. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, he opposed everything by the word of his power. Isaiah 40 verse 8 The grass may wither, the flower may fade But the word of our God Abideth forever Am I speaking here? In Proverbs 25 11 As apple of gold In a picture of silver So is a word that is fitly spoken There is power In the word of God I said there is power In the word of God In Acts chapter 19 verse 20 The Bible says so grew my Till the word of God and prevailed. There is power in the words of God. Am I communicating here? Anything the word of God gives you, it stays. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart in psalm 119 verse 162 he said i rejoice at thy word 
as one who has found great spoils in Acts chapter 20 and verse 32 I commend you to God and the word of his grace that is able to build you and give you an inheritance among them that I'm sanctified in Psalm 119 and verse 89 forever O Lord thy word is settled in heaven in Psalm 62 verse 10 and 11 once God has spoken twice have I heard it that power belongs to God hear me and hear me well what the word of God says over you that is what will stand do not press listen to me listen do not press to hear the reports of the doctor do not press to hear the economy of your country press to hear the word of God do not press to hear the medical report press to hear the word of God do not press to hear the situation in your family press to hear the word of God don't let people tell you this is what is happening in the family tell them this is what God has said 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 he has called you blessed he has called you prosperous he has called you lifted lift your hands and shout hallelujah the force follow me take your seat now this is my point we have some of you may have probably heard the story about how Jesus told Peter cast your net and all that but there are certain things I saw number one there were two ships that were there why was it Peter's own somebody say favor you know when you hear people they ask a big man or a great man say how did you become great he say well I work hard um, I work. he's a liar a real great man cannot explain because when you say you work hard some people work harder it is favor you can't explain when favor is on you any little thing you do heaven amplifies it you can't explain favor you can't explain favor <laughs> two ships you are standing how come and when I found out the other ship belonged to James and John sons of Zebedee their father was with them their father was with them Peter even jumped into the sea and said depart from me I'm a sinner in other words between my ship and this ship I am not even qualified favor does not choose the qualified favor qualifies the chosen In Psalm chapter 5, take your seat. If you read verse 12, the Bible said, Thou shalt favor the righteous and then compass him as with a shield. In Psalm 30, verse 5, Psalm 30 and verse 5, he said, In his favor is life. And in verse 6, he said, Weeping may endure for the night. The Bible says, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26. He said Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and found favor with God and man. Luke chapter 2 verse 52 somewhere rather increased in wisdom and stature. Luke 2 52 Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and found favor with God and man. The favor of God. In Psalm 102 verse 13 he said thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah! I didn't come to Austria because I'm, I'm, I wanted to travel. I came for one person. Oh. I came for a life to change. <laughs> Somebody shall favor. In Psalm 106, verse 4, he said, Remember me with the favor that thou bearest to thy people. In Esther 2, if you read verse 7, the Bible says Esther found favor before the king. Somebody shall favor. favor. I can't hear you. Favor. I can't hear you. Favor. In Daniel chapter 1. If you read verse 9. That's my best verse on favor. He said God brought Daniel into favor. Anywhere you are. I carry you. I relocate you to favor. <laughs> Amen. Take your seat. Amen. In S 
Exodus chapter 3. If you read verse 21, the Bible says, And these people, I will give them favor that when they leave, they will not leave empty. You cannot have favor and be empty handed. In Exodus 12, verse 36, the Bible says, And God gave them favor before the Egyptians, and they borrowed from them and spoke. Well, ya shata kaba itusha atabahaya igrasa da handika ishata bahala kada. I don't know if you understand that. I've always explained it. You know, take your seat. He said they they, they borrowed from Egypt. Let me show, explain to you. The Israelites were leaving Egypt one night, and everyone began to knock on their neighbor's door. Borrow me your gold. It's okay. Thank you. Um, I'll borrow you. When are you bringing it back? I'm not bringing it back. Borrow me. He said, take. Does that make sense? When you borrow from people, you, 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 you take back what you borrowed. He said, I'm leaving, I'm leaving Egypt. I'm relocating. What do you want? Borrow me your jewelries. Uh, okay, I'll give you. When are you returning it? We are not coming back. The Bible said they borrowed so much that they spoiled Egypt. That means the, Egypt, the economy of Egypt shook they wreck their economy am i talking to somebody here they wreck their economy what does that tell you when a man or a woman has favor resting on his or her head your helpers help you without reasoning your, your helpers lose their senses protocols are broken let me say this to just seven people here as you hear the sound of my voice everyone ordained to help you everyone ordained to announce you my god will move in their lives overnight take your seat What is favor? What is favor? Favor is God's recharge on your discharge. Anytime God recharges you so you can discharge on it. Anytime God wants to make you a distributor. Anytime God wants to make you a person that will bless lives and bless nation. God has to recharge you. For your phone to dispense power. For your phone to be used to make call to send sms to receive call you have to charge it the functions of the phone is called a discharge and when you connect it to power it is called recharge so when god wants to release something on a man so it can be a blessing to his generation when all your plans and all your desire is still around your personal needs it means you lack favor because when favor comes upon you genesis 12 verse 2 is fulfilled that you are not just blessed but you have become a blessing when favor rests upon a man's life it goes beyond you trying to build a house beyond you trying to buy a car you are looking for how to build an orphanage home you are looking for how to take care of the poor you are looking for how to bless people you are looking for how to sponsor a crusade in your village you are looking for how to get to the village gather all the widows and build them houses that is what favor can do it is beyond buying a land i don't know who the person is here but god God has sent me on assignment after now what your father could not do what your mother could not do i say you will do it take your seat after this meeting is over we shall rise up like the rod of moses that rose up and swallowed the rod of the magician i see you shall rise up in a new dimension of favor the hand of god will change your life lift your web shout i receive it Take your seat. Take your seat. What is favor? Favor is a silent catalyst that sponsors celebration. A silent, silent catalyst. Silent catalyst. How do I explain catalyst? If you did science in school, that's what they call H2O. H2O is water. 
H2O is water, one molecule of hydrogen and two molecules of oxygen. When you bring one molecule of hydrogen and two molecules of oxygen together, it cannot give you water. You have to apply something called platinum. That is the catalyst. It's like a woman, there's something called IVF. IVF means that you bring the semen from the man and the egg from the woman and you put them together and bring a booster, which is called a catalyzer. It is that the catalyzer that brings forth a child. That is what favor is. Favor is the third party. When God is there, man is there. The third party that comes silently and makes a person stand out. You look at him, he doesn't look handsome, but God is blessing him. She doesn't look beautiful, God is blessing him. You say, ah, but he just came to Europe. How come? How come? Listen, favor, listen. Favor is not how far. It's not even how well. Favor is God. When God's hand comes upon the man, when people look at you, when the fire fell on Mount Camel, all that the people could say was that the Lord, this is God. There is a way people can look at you. They don't know what to say. All they say is, this is God. This is God. That is what favor is. A silent catalyst that provokes celebration. I don't know who you are, but I prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. After now, you will celebrate. I see favor becoming. I see favor becoming your catalyzer. I see favor becoming your catalyzer. In the morning, you will celebrate. At noon, you will celebrate. I see the favor of God on your life. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Somebody shout favor, 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 favor. What? Take your seat. You can't explain it. You can. It just happens. Am I communicating? It just happens. You can't explain it. I prophesied on the boy. He was going to he was going for an interview. And he came, he said he wants a visa. So I laid hands on him. I said, God said, this time around, you get your visa. He said, Amen. Amen. I believe he went. In fact, while he was about to stand before the interviewer, he said, just in his mind, he said, This one. My papa has spoken. When he did that, they looked at him, they rejected him. When the woman said, sorry, you can't travel. He said, eh? Sit down. Eh? This does not look like... What? Ah, ah. He came out. While he was walking, he turned on his phone. They said, please, you have to leave. In this area, you don't make call. You have to go far. He said, the anger... He said, the anger inside me now, if I put it on you... pressed the phone he couldn't call he sent a message i saw the message he said that they rejected i said thank god he now sent it again i said they rejected you know the problem we have is that we have too many carnal people in the church spiritual people and i said thank god god has spoken he has spoken so he got angry he called somebody i was talking so they came, the security men came, some policemen all. He said, we will beat you, leave this place. He got angry. He took off his shirt. He said, what is left? They have refused me, they have refused There's nothing worse that can happen. He dropped his phone. He said, I'm ready to die here. I'm ready. They said, okay, since you're ready to die, there are people ready to kill you. And both of them began and they dragged themselves they were dragging them some there was a car coming and another car behind there was a diplomatic number so while they were doing that the person got close and wind down and they pulled the body they said somebody wants to talk to you spoke to the boy the boy said ah, if you you want to join them the person said calm down what do you want why are you fighting here and he said that he was trying to tell his brother that they rejected him that he didn't know why they rejected him visa it's not fair there's been years since 6 a.m he was just talking talking the man was in the car numbers were exchanged the man told him to come. Who was he talking to? The consoler. Hey, hey. The Lord 
said today that is the one who has power to give or not give listen to me it is not over until you win no 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 don't say it's not over till it's over no it's not over till you win Amen. number one there were two ships but one was picked number one favor distinguishes a man when the force of favor comes on you it picks you out of a crowd it picks you out to stand out in the family one of the testimony we had in uh, where, where, where am i even coming from i don't even know I don't walk, I walk, I don't even know where they go, where they come. <laughs> where am I coming from? Victoria. <laughs> oh, God, help me. One of the testimonies we had, we had two or three like that, two. One we had was a girl who was sentenced to, I don't know how many, six years or something, in prison. And she said, she saw a vision or a dream. And the Lord used my face and appeared to her and I said, be in my program. And she said, man of God, I am in prison. I said, come to the program. She summoned courage. And she went to the office and said, I want to attend the program. They said, really? Okay, go. And come back. She went to the program. In prison. Who watched it now? Okay. He said, she went to the, the program. And I called a name according to her. She said, she came out. I didn't even talk to her. I spoke to the other people. While she was going, I said to her, you are free. She finished the program, went back to prison, and they asked her, why did you come? <laughs> you are discharged. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, oh, you don't understand. Take your seat. I was preaching in South Africa some years ago. I saw a young lady. I said, come, you have a brother in prison. She said, yes. It was a Friday. Reverend Kinsley stayed back. You, who stayed back? You stayed this Sunday because I needed to. You stayed? Both of you stayed this Sunday because I had to go to church. I told them to stay because it was a massive program. So they have to do a Sunday service. And I said, it was a Friday. I said, your brother is released now. Now, the sister looked at the watch. It was from minutes to 9 p.m. Sit down. And it was a Friday. Saturday is not a working day. So how will they release so I said it and I left. On Sunday, on Saturday, it was Saturday, the girl was at home and she got a call. Who was it? It was her brother. He said, They just released me this morning. Prophecy was spoken on Friday. He said, One of the top government functionaries came, just came to visit people and looked at him and said, What did you do? He mentioned, ah, Is that what they kept you here till now? He said, come, come, come. Spoke to a few people. Say, let this man go. On Saturday, when would they perfect papers? When would they write things? Favor was at work. Eh? He was in the church on Sunday. My brother called me. He's the pastor there. And they called me. He said, sir, that boy you prophesied about, he was in that service on Sunday. I said, I don't understand. He said, the brother was released on Saturday and he was in service on Sunday. There is something about the favor of God. Listen to me. Listen to me. It is your weakness and your disqualification that actually qualifies you when a man when i hear people say i i, I work hard i work hard i work hard if you see the way i work hard i will shut up it is the favor of god there are people working hard and they are still stranded there are people who are working hard and they are still broke there are people who are prayerful and they are still suffering there are pastors that pray and church is not growing there are pastors that study and nothing is happening there are people in business who are stranded they have several complimentary cards but nobody remembers them they have a website for their business they have different telephone lines but yet nothing is happening for them the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong no bread to the wise no riches to men of skill no favor to men of understanding but time and chance happen to them all somebody shout favor Favor. I prophesy on 75 percent after now the favor of God will bring you out of the crowd Favor. I say 
if we bring you out of the crowd. Father, we bring you out of the crowd. Somebody shout, I am safe. Take your seat. Shaba. To stand out. To stand out. Someone will stand out. I don't know the family you come from, but you will stand out. Oh my God. There is a power coming on you. It will bring you out of the crowd. Amen. I say it will bring you out of the crowd. Amen. It will bring you out of the crowd. Amen. It will pick you out of the number. Amen. It will pick you out of the number. Amen. Why was it Peter's sheep? It picked him out. If you study your Bible, you discover that Jesus actually meant Andrew before Peter. Andrew was the first Jesus met, not Peter. There are some things you can't even explain. The favor of God. Number two. <laughs> favor overrules expertise. Peter was a fisherman, yet he was stranded. So stop, stop depending on your profession. Peter was a fisherman. He was stranded. When favor comes, it overrules expertise. There was a, <laughs> there was a young lady, she studied in Russia. She traveled to several nations and she did them. Um, she was a surgeon. She had a hospital in Lagos, rented a big hall. She had 14 beds. Even one bed, nobody occupied. Sometimes she would have to lie down one of the bed. Herself, she would lie down, waiting for patients. Nobody's coming. She's good. Other hospitals will call her and consult her. Say, we have a matter like this. What do we have? They say, okay, I'm coming. We'll go there. Things will happen. But I won't. Nobody is coming. She was in a service like you are in a service now. And I called her by prophecy. I said, your father planted seven trees. Anytime a child is born, your father planted a tree. She's a medical doctor. What she was hearing looked strange. So she looked at me. I said, are you hearing me? She said, go on, go on. I said, you are the last child. She said, whoa. And I said, your tree is by your father's window. When you were born, they planted it. She said, hey. I said, the truth is this. You'll be involved. You will travel home. Wait till night. Get people to cut down that tree. You can't cut everybody's own. Cut your own. You see, I said to somebody, before I came here, I was on the phone. And I said, the truth of the matter is that Noah couldn't save the world. He saved his family. If you cannot set everyone free, set yourself free. And they began to cut, 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 cut. The father woke up, hearing the sound. And when they heard the father woke up, was coming out, the, the men walking, entered their car, zoomed off. And the father collapsed by the tree and started crying. Say, this girl has escaped. That was the word. This girl has escaped. She went back to Lagos. Road. The corridor. They were dropping patients. Corridor. Road. Everywhere packed. She moved from there to a place called Aja. She built a massive hospital. What happened? God picked her out of the number. I don't know how many have been held bound. I don't know how many in your family have been caged and chained. But I've come to tell you that Jehovah is picking you out of the crowd. He's picking you out of the number. He's picking you out of the crowd. He's picking you out of the number. You will stand out and miss your peers. You will stand out and miss your family. You will stand out and miss your crowd. Somebody shout, I receive. She was a surgeon. But this favor rendered her helpless. Take your seat. When a lady lacks favor, beauty is vain. When a woman lacks favor, no matter the makeup she puts, she can't meet up. 
when a man a young man a young lady rather lacks favor what she called cat work irritates people yes, she is working to get attention people are angry say why she but does she want to break my friend work where when a young man lacks favor he wears suit which is the recommended attire for interview as he walks into the hall, the man is angry. In this hot sun, you are wearing to tell my friend, take off the jacket. Why? Because he lacks favor. Everything he does irritates people. It's lack of favor. If not, how do you explain that a dead man, they call him Michael Jackson, yes, sir. who just walk into a place, people start crying. What did he say? No one somebody called who's bad? I'm bad. Who's bad? I'm bad. People are fainting. What are they fainting for? Who's bad? I'm bad. Who's bad? People are fainting. Somebody shall say it all. One day I sat down. I said, let me watch this man. I saw crowd. They were just coming. Some people just ooh. So no, he just came. He waved somebody and the person he waved at me. He went, hey! In his lifetime, he met over 30 presidents and he was shaking them with hand gloves. He wouldn't shake them with his hand. He would wear hand gloves. And the presidents would look at their hand. I said, What is this guy doing? The young man just stand there. People are gathering. He take off his, his jacket. One take off his jacket and say, Oh, who's bad? I'm bad. Who's bad? I'm bad. You are bad. You are bad. Michael Jackson, you are bad. Up. <laughs> yeah, crowd. <laughs> Why? Favor amplifies little effort. Little. Open your hands by the power of the holy ghost every effort you put into your profession oh. into that job into that pursuit into that desire mm -hmm. my god by favor we amplify it Amen. my god we amplify it Amen. my god we amplify it Amen. the grace of god will amplify it Amen. i say we amplify it Amen. power will amplify it Amen. somebody shout i receive i receive i receive i receive i receive i receive oh take your soul skill is good but not adequate Tell your neighbor, skill is good, but not adequate. Skill is good, but not adequate. Skill is good. Not adequate. First Samuel 2 verse 9. For by strength. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. Ah, Skill is good. But not adequate. Am I talking to somebody? Goliath was a professional. David was anointed. The anointing swallows the anointed swallows the professional. Thank God for being a professional, but brother, thank God for the anointing. Goliath was a warrior from youth. Ah, but when the anointing comes into play, the anointing is the driver's license for championship. The anointing is the driver's license for great men. When the anointing is at work, professionals keep quiet. When the anointing is at work, do you know most referees cannot play football, but they control those that play? Am I talking to somebody here? They control those that play. There is a level you get to in life where what we'll stop others cannot stop you. Do you know in my country, there is what they call traffic light, and there is also traffic light in Europe. In fact, the traffic light in Europe is more respected. In my country, if you beat traffic light, they will tell you waka. No camera can catch you. I might take it to somebody here. If you beat traffic light, they say see your head. But in Europe, you beat traffic light, they snap you. Before you get home, there is a bin waiting for you. Traffic light only control vehicles. But when you get to the realm of the air, 
There's no traffic light that controls an aircraft. You are left the realm of normal control. No traffic light controls a plane. The plane lifts up and moves with speed. Even if it is raining, the pilot is moving. He's not checking the weather. He's checking the radar. It is the radar that determines what is ahead. Not the weather. When a man operates in the frequency of favor, you cannot understand him. When it appears the night is getting darker, his light is getting brighter. I am here to tell somebody now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God is about to amplify your efforts. Let God take your seat. Since late last year, I've been praying and talking to God mightily as a raise up serious people in the house of God. Raise up serious people who will stand out. And it's happening. I'm seeing young boys in our church. In our church. Young people. You see them? Blessed. I told them, I said to them, I said, see, everything I do in my life, I do well. I put my heart. I put my heart. And I said to them, we need to stand out. The mockery on the church is too much. The first 100 richest men in the world, no Christian. Yes, sir. No Christian. Buddhist. Arabs. Because Christians are divided. They are not together. I don't have energy for, for Christians who, who don't who are not ready to be conscious of making the kingdom proud. On serious people. On serious people. On serious with their own life. I was in a program, I was ministering somewhere. I saw a group of women, some chubby women. Sat down. I'll raise prayer when they won't pray. They cross leg. Fanning themselves. Message they won't write. I just mark them. Psalm 37, 37. Say, mark the perfect man. You can also mark the imperfect man. I didn't talk. I just marked them. Say, this one, no problem. At the end of service, the queue. Like primary school children on assembly ground. <laughs> on the queue. Man came. I thought so. I want to see you. I said, you have seen me. He said, I have six children. I said, me too, I have six. He said, I want you to pray for my children. This one, is in Malaysia. This one, they talk. I said, madam, pray for your children. Let me pray for my children. I was raising prayer point just now. You sat down, you cross leg. You are waiting for a native doctor that will see vision for you. I said, I'm not in that category. If you brought one million dollars, carry it away. I'm not interested. If you cannot pray when I'm praying. If I saw her praying, I saw her wait, talking to God, writing. When she comes to me, I will support her. But she's not ready to serve God. She cross leg. Maybe she has money. Or maybe she has done that to many pastors. And, and when she mentioned money, they are shaking to hell with you. It is God that gives wealth. Am I talking to somebody here? So I was there. I know some of you say, Apostle, it's not fair. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2. He said, bear one another's burden. You didn't read verse 5. Verse 5 says, every man shall carry his own burden. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? I don't have energy. I want to live long. I don't have strength for unserious people at all. You see the way I'm looking younger than my age? I'm not stressed. Man of God, a, 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 a young man was expecting a massive contract. I said, be on a fast on Sunday. Let me pray for you. On Sunday, I was waiting for him in the office. He came out. Bet. I said, what? He said, Coke, Coke. I drink, I drink Coke, Coke. I said, you drink Coke? I said, you should fast. You drink, hey, I forget. I forget. You are the one that has problem, not me. You don't know there is a level where a genuine pastor, pastor's a member, four years, five years, things don't change. The pastor is ashamed. Five years! You, you, the pastor starts asking himself question. There are some people, if God permitted me, I would have sent them to leave church. Just that God, I don't, if God permitted me, so select those you don't want as members. They are already in my brain. I know them. I know where they sit down in the church. I know where all of them position in the church. And they know how to drag seat. They will just sit down. Offering. They won't drop. Seat. They won't give. Not the pastor will preach. Eh? Must you talk like now? When you know like this now? When you know terrible people who are never serious one came to me say bible study eh papa i want to ask question i said stand up and ask your question eh, eh, thank you i thank you for this opportunity you give people 
to be asking question shut up ask your question <laughs> is it because you know this opportunity is not a common opportunity that people are giving to be asked i said okay ask he said my question is this thing called tight 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 they say they give it to god what time of the day does god come down to come and collect the time but, I'm serious, so I'm, I'm just asking because I don't know. They say it belongs to God. What time on the day? I said, Can I answer? I said, No, sir, no, sir, because me, oh, I don't believe that God. I say, Hey, you ask a question, let me answer. And I ask him a question. I say, When you are sick or you have a problem, who do you come to? He say, I come to my pastor. And what do you tell him? He says, She help you pray. Pray means he should talk to God. Say, Yes. I said, And after I talk to God, what happened? He said, Testimony. I said, what time of the day does God come down to do that thing? He says, I don't know. I said, so die it own. Don't ask questions. Don't know to. The first one you came that you have an, a challenge and you needed me to stand on your behalf to talk to God because you are sending a message to the Father. So you say, oh, tell God I need a job. And I stood in the gap with you and said, God, you need a job. Now you now have money. You want to send to God again. The first assignment, who did you pass through? Uh, so why come this one? There is a problem. It is, is it, when I see people argue, I've told people, when I see people, when well, you want to know people who will be poor in life, they always have money problem. Always argue about money. Only money that collecting in church. Where is it? That's a poor man. Take your seat. One of see one of the easiest way to prosper in life when you hear things about prosperity, smile. Smile. Somebody just bought the ass. Wonderful. Don't be angry. And ask, and you show him about it. It's a lie. They buy it. And you show him. You always bitter. Somebody buy a bag. Yeah, this bag. Ah, this bag. Fine, no. But the, if you see the original one, the original one is fine. Now. <laughs> no, no. What are you saying now? Say this is your shoe. Ah, this is your shoe is fine. Is it Gucci? No, it's not Gucci. It's copy. It's copy. It's copy. But uh, try be trying to be buying. You are so bitter. There are people today who just started a particular business. They've not spent two years. But when favor comes upon them, they override the man who has been in that business for 15 years. I said this to you. All those who are in front of you, by reason of the favor of heaven, you will overtake them. Number three. Favor cancels discouragement. The Bible says Peter was washing his net because he was tired. So many of us have come to a point in our life. Let's get serious. We are tired. The certain pains. Our heart is heavy. Heavy. You are tired. You are tired. You are tired. Many of us are in pains because marriage is not working. Finances are not working. Business is not working. So at this point of your life, you are almost thinking of training the towel. Isaiah 41 verse 6 says, Be not discouraged. Psalm 27 14 says, Don't be discouraged. In Joshua 1 verse 5, God said to Joshua, Be strong and of good courage. If you read 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, and David encouraged him. Let me tell you one of the reasons you will not give up. Let me tell you why. Sit down. Let me tell you one of the reasons you should not give up. There are people waiting to laugh at you. One of the reasons you should not give up is that there are people waiting to laugh at you. Number two, there are people waiting to laugh at your God. That is why I tell myself all the time. No matter the gang up the high mountains that I see, I'm not giving up. The Lord is my light and my song. 
whom shall I fear? The reason you are not going home, you are not running out of Austria, out of Europe, is that there are many people who want to laugh and say he went there and came back empty. But their, their prophecy will fail. Their expectations will fail. Their desires will fail. What they wish for you will not come to pass. What they wish for you will not come to pass. What they wish for you will not come to pass. You shall go higher and higher. For the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto a perfect day. When they wish downfall for you, God shall give you acceleration. They wish you to go down, but you are going higher. You are moving from good to better from better to best from best to grace from grace to glory from glory to glory from glory to glory you are expanding 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 take your seat I'm preaching let me finish there are people waiting to mock you leave him alone leave him alone sit down let me finish he said he wanted to pray for his daughter so let me finish I'll pray for her there are people who are waiting some years ago Omega Farm Ministry started 2004 yes. but let me surprise you Omega Farm Ministries was not the first church I started I started one in 2002 church five months we are seven members worldwide you know me i go tell i go tell you the part where i fail you at the talk i must be but let me shock you i was there one month two months three months it was in a primary school they call it a boy there primary school in agbo now hear this I was oh lord oh lord hold on i was there there were people who would pass the church but one particular woman i won't forget was our neighbor when we invite her to church she said i will call church i see you nana <laughs> so she'll just come <laughs> she'll come outside she'll put her hand on the railing amen amen she'll be doing praise with us i said mother is here i'll be member but i know i don't want to enter i'm here I'm, amen <laughs> who did program one day people came church was full 25 i was happy she was there when we packed instrument drum we're going yeah na church they grew <laughs> she was my neighbor light complexion i can't forget that face till jesus come <laughs> and she will come to church one of the young men called timothy because the church was organized oh several we have we organized timothy was my treasurer who go <laughs> was my secretary <laughs> so I, <laughs> i'm looking for those boys and i can't even find them and they were there he said daddy let's pray for prayer to convert this woman i said this one they don't convert these kind of people never convert just leave them one sunday somebody say one sunday yes. i was in the church by 6 a.m because i come to church 6 pray to 9 for service start two women were sweeping outside when somebody landed from the space in the occult world they call it astral projection when people their body leave them they see themselves somewhere else the woman we are sweeping and the person landed and said where is apostle Suleiman?" the woman said we are not apostle Suleiman." <laughs> so one of them ran to me and they held my hand i said that they follow me run run i said run where he said, somebody just landed there. He have run. I said, why will I run? Leave me. So when there, I saw the person, began to make incantations. And I remember Lamentations 337. Who is it that say it and it come to pass? When the Lord, hold on, commanded it not. I began to minister. The power of God picked him, landed on the floor, began to scatter everywhere. And while I was doing that, people had gathered. I said to them, bring him into the church as he entered crowd followed him that woman entered when she entered church i laughed i said today is today i 
preached my heart out i ministered my heart out because i had made up my mind to leave that town but i said to god i will not live as a failure i need to leave shake everywhere before i leave the town when i was done that lady walked to a brother called timothy say is this how your pastor is when i sit down for that side i know they see all this one oh. and she became regular for one or two services and i disappeared i left there with a golden boot hear me even if you are relocating from austria you are not relocating because of poverty you will relocate so you can grow better if you are leaving this nation you are not leaving because things are bad god will expand your door you are leaving because you have expanded that god will bless you in this place and from here you cannot think of america you cannot think of canada i see god's hand upon your life i see god's hand upon your destiny i see you making ways i see you expanding i see you increasing on all sides somebody shout i receive i prophesy by the favor of god everyone hearing the sound of my voice when no one could enter in your family line among your friends among your peers among your relatives among your co-workers among your your your, your department where you work in the office i prophesy you will enter there 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 god will take you there power will take you there glory will take you there somebody say i will enter there be on your feet i have three prayers i have three prayers three and i want to believe god for somebody here who is sick and tired of being sick and tired someone here who is tired of being tired Someone who has come to a point in life that Lord is either you or you. I've got to a point in my life, oh God, where I'm tired of explaining to people why things are not working. I need evidence. Amen. I need evidence. The anointing to stand out. The release of God on my life to stand out. Look at this testimony. Look here. A lady gave a testimony in our church. She's a Muslim. She's a visa agent. She fixes visa to America, to Canada, to different places. Two people came to her, a boy and a girl. And those who, who are visa agents, who fix visa for people, because of their experiences in doing that stuff they know the possible questions that the interviewers will ask you so they'll tell you they will ask you like this this is how you will answer if they ask you like this answer like this so she told the young man if they ask you what are you going to do there you show them your admission if they ask you if you come back say yes after your school you'll come back to them you will tell the girl when they ask you you show them this the girl will say the god of my father apostle Suleiman, will do it for me the lady say you are not well oh. you are not well I'm telling you what to answer. Answer like this. She said, no problem. The God of my father, I was the Suleiman, will do it for me. They say, okay, I know, I know. But when they ask you what you are going to do, tell them this, tell them this, tell them you are going to come back. He said, I know. The God of my father, Apostle Suleiman. Ah, ah. They say, if you go there and they don't give you, I will not refund your money. I'm telling you what to say. So both of them went there. This was by this counter. This was by this counter. The young man was speaking good prim and proper queen's english speaking english they asked the girl why are you going to america the god of my father why are you going to canada the god of my father apostle Suleiman will do it for me get serious where are your documents are you going there for education the god of my father apostle Suleiman will do it for me so the the interviewer started laughing he said are you sure you're okay why are you going to canada the god of my father <laughs> will do it so the interviewer stood up i went to call some of his colleagues to come and see come and see where <laughs> so those ones came he said hey why do you say you are traveling the god of my father i was just we do it for me. so all of this started laughing 
the other guy was there explaining, explaining. He asked question, the God of my father. So they look at themselves. This one needs medical attention. And we are not sure she can get it here in Nigeria. Please give her the visa so she can travel and go and get medical attention. Let me tell you why the testimony came. The other boy, when he finished, he was rejected. So he met the lady. This matter, I'm telling you, ended up in the station. He said, refund my money. You told that girl what to say. You didn't tell me what to say. He said, no. She said it on her own. Now, the lady came and gave testimony herself in church. The visa agent. He said, this was all. that This one she's been hearing, you know. This one happened right before her eyes. Sir, it wasn't me. It was favor. It wasn't me. It was favor. Lift up your right hand and take this prayer after me. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father. I can't hear you. Say it louder. My father, my father. Your voice is too weak. Say it louder than that. My father, my father. As I pray. As I pray. The favor to stand out. The to stand from, out. The crowd, from the crowd. From the crowd. From the number. From the number. Fall upon me. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray. Listen, favor is not fair. What Peter could not get all night because he said to Jesus, We have taught all night and caught not in less than few minutes speed came we are going to pray this prayer loud and clear we'll take this second prayer oh god god are you ready yes sir say so my father my father my father, my father, my father. father. oh god of speed oh god, god of speed. speed by divine favor by divine give me favor. speed give me speed give me speed don't put your mouth on fire prayer so we need to receive speed Yes, 
Lift your hands up. When I'm back, what is getting the wall? When I'm back, what is getting the wall? And it looks as if it was over. You move mountains. You cause war to fall with your power. You perform miracles. You perform miracles. There is nothing. There is nothing. That looks impossible. That is impossible. We are standing. You move mountains one more time. You move mountains. You cast water to fall. You cast water to fall. With your power. With your power. You have some miracles. There is nothing. That is impossible. That is impossible. Lift your hands up. Everywhere, lift your hands. The Lord just whispered to me. He says, Speed is being released. Amen. Speed is being released. Amen. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Father. I receive speed. I receive speed. speed. By favor. By favor. No more delay. No No more more delay. delay. I receive speed. I receive speed in my life. In my life. Right now. 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 That's it. That's it. Take. Take. Tatabahash. Lahabakata. Rakalaba. Take that. Take. Twelve of you. Bring them here. Bring them. The Holy Ghost just told me, says speed is being released. Take on the left and on the right. Receive it, receive it, brother. Receive it, sister. Where no one could enter in your family. I cut off the rope. I cut off the chain that is holding you, pulling you back. I, I cut it off. Take Shakaba. Amanda Moshata. La Crusada. What you could not get in five years. What you couldn't get in four years. Let the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob deliver it to you in mud. Take! Holy Spirit, where is that man? Where is that woman? There are people you are giving speed 
you are helping them to stand out in their family line. Holy Ghost, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where is that brother? Where, 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 where is that? Where is that brother? Look at the power of God. Where is that sister there? La Baraka, Twada, Kaba, 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 Help him, Help him, Kabolo Shata, Kabaraka, Shaka, Tela, Raka, Baka, Tela, Raka, Help them over there, Help them over there, Kabaraka, Kabaraka, Tela, Ratash. Shasa Katabadash. Waiting that you to your are taking place who is Rita who is Rita is there any Rita here Rita Rita your name is Rita bring, bring just the keyboard just the keyboard your name is Rita you are Rita you are Rita the three of you wait in battle Masakata. The three of you are Rita. Look at me. Look at me. Who knows? Who knows anyone called Jude? Who has somebody called Jude among three of you? Who is Jude? My, eh? my husband. Your husband is Jude. Yes. Stand there. The others can go. Stand. Mighty warrior. Wait. Listen, while I was sitting down in Munich, the Holy Spirit told me, He says, Son, when you get to Austria, He said, There is somebody, listen to this, listen to this, who is going through an allegation. And he said to me, there's an allegation on that person by someone called Cynthia. He said, someone called Cynthia placed allegation on that person. Place allegation. It's you. An allegation. She said what? She said I'm a wish that I'm coming to oppress her in a dream. Okay. What I'm saying now is spreading. Is spreading. Come this way. God will vindicate you. God will woman. The Lord is telling me that people will gather to rejoice. That he, God, wants to surprise you. That the delay is ending. Amen. That he, God, wants to make you a joyful mother. Amen. I saw fruitfulness coming. I saw fruitfulness coming. I saw the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob visiting you. Whatever you are, God is visiting you. I can't hear you. I say God is visiting you. 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 Papa says she has been waiting for six years. God is doing something. What, what is what is what is Azatov? Azatov. 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 I'm hearing something like kal kalota, kalota, kalota. Oh, huh? Eh? Yeah, what? My 
twin sister's husband daughter. What's the name? Kai Ka, Kayota Azadov. Who ran out just now? Where's the somebody? Else? You next time don't do that in the midst of the message. Okay. What you were crying out. What is it? You came to this program from Italy. Yes, sir. Since two, 2007, almost 100,000 euros. I, 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 nothing to show. Nothing. No, forget about the money. You said something about your daughter. Yeah, my daughter, She was taken away from the school. She was taken from school. Yes, without nothing. Okay. Without so, nothing. what do you want? I want her to be released. You want her to be released? Yes, to come back home. To come back home? Yes, sir. Okay. Father, let her come back. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's all. Hallelujah. Kasha Oh Who is Joseph? If your name is Joseph. Na 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 nalo nalo nalo. Joseph Nalo. What's your name? Joseph Nalo. God of the mountains is to God in the valley when things go wrong he makes it right God of the good times is still God in the past. God of the day is still God in the past. Father, vindicate her and fight for her. Surprise our enemies. Amen. Every one of you. Thank you, Father. The Lord is saying, You see, there is a woman. They have, I don't know how to explain it. They have arranged another wife for your husband. They, there's a third party in the home. That someone else has been recommended for the man to marry. What I just said now shocked you to your bone. There's a recommended, there's a recommended person that this man should get married to. Your home is shaking. If you're that person, please come and meet me here. It's you. Clap your hands for Jesus. She was standing right in front of me here. God of the good time is the God in the bad time. God of the day is the God in the night. God of the good time is the God in the bad time. God of the day is the God. I command sicknesses in your bodies to disappear. Somebody's right ear is bringing out pus. Someone has a problem with the right ear. It's just pouring out. It, it leaks. It leaks out. You're always cleaning it. It leaks the right ear. You have a problem with your right ear. It's it's leaking. It, it, it leaks out and you're always cleaning. Is the white man? Come. Oh God of the mountain. It's to God in the valley. When things go wrong, when things 
to God. He makes it right. He makes it right. God of the good time. God of the good time. Is it God in the bad time? God in the bad time. God of the day. God in the night. God in the night. God of the day. God of the day. Is the God in the night? Is the God in the night? God of the day. God of the day. Is the God in the night? In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Touch him, Lord. Healed. In the name of Jesus. Right where you are. Thank you, Father. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know if this is right. The Lord is showing me that there's somebody who is running. You are hiding from authorities. Something happened, so you are hiding. There's a frame up. And you've been hiding. You've been hiding. There's a frame up. God wants to set you free today. You, you, there's a frame up. There's something that this is between you and if it's not handled, this is between you and jail. And you are saying, Lord, you just have to vindicate me. Don't waste my time. If that's you, I want to pray for you. God wants to help you. You've been hiding. You've been avoiding people. But God wants to end it today. I'm going to count to five. If you're not out, I'll move on. You're in this meeting. There's something that has been done, that's been said. And God wants to bring you out of it. The Lord is showing me again. He said, this person is hiding. Come. Come. I worship you. You are here. Counting lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Hey, waymaker, miracle worker, climbing steep, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, 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 waymaker, miracle worker, climbing steep. My God, that is who you are. Hey, hey, hey. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. One more time. Hey, hey. We make a miracle walk. Promise keep a light in the darkness. I go. That is who you are. I pray for you today. By the force of divine favor. Everything that has slowed you down. Everything that has stunted your movement in the name of the Lord Jesus that force is broken I decree speed upon your life I decree acceleration upon your life you shall move with speed you shall move with speed you shall move with speed in life in destiny while others are looking for evidences you will be surrounded with them you have been
been to several meetings and programs in your life may this one give you explosion every member of your family that is in prison they are released in 24 hours that one in prison is released the yoke is destroyed the burden is broken be free in the name of Jesus exercise dominion over powers of hell unclean spirits marine spirits spiritual husband spiritual wife spiritual children I terminate your assignments I release you to testimonies I release you to grace and glory in the name of Jesus I'm a Shabbat Ragadash your battles are over your battles are over your battles are over in the name of Jesus lady don't lady don't cry don't cry don't cry don't cry the word the Lord used that the person is hiding there are things nobody can understand but God understands there are things you cannot explain to anybody you cannot explain because these are things that the enemies the enemies capitalize listen to me the bible says we have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity the feelings when you feel when you think of that issue and you feel pain that pain god feels it the feelings of our infirmity you think of that pain that accusation and you cry you feel pain woman don't cry I don't know you are I don't know you are do I did you tell anybody anything okay you didn't talk to nobody you didn't discuss with anybody but God knows who you are and God says I should tell you that he will give you peace Just last week here. Yes, <laughs> and you are innocent. Am I innocent? I don't know anything. Then they me back. Listen to me. She said, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. But God knows our pain. Listen to me. What I see, I'm seeing identity. I'm seeing they are looking for somebody, and you and that person, everything you are the same. Size, face, everything. But hear me, woman. In the name of Jesus, peace has come. God will surprise you. You know, when we, when we do programs from nation to nations, these are the reasons why billions of euros can pay for this for a change in life and I say this to you and to everyone hearing the sound of my voice here it doesn't matter the, 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 the picture your enemies have painted to the world about you the God of heaven and earth he will vindicate you it doesn't matter the picture the lies that have been told against you you know the Lord told me said son there are some things a believer experiences because you are not of the world you are not first John chapter 4 verse 6 he said the world heareth us not he said, he that heareth us is of God. He that heareth us not is not of God. So we know the spirit of error. This world will always fight every true child of God. This world will always contend and combat you. If you are a true child of God, this world will fight you. Even fellow Christians will fight you. 
in fact the bible says it will come to pass that those that fight you will think they are doing god a service the bible says that they will think they are doing god a service they will think they are standing for god when they persecute you they will think they are standing for god you will come back to testify yeah. clap your hands if you want to clap your hands clap your hands she's smiling now listen to me between now and in the morning we will come here somebody in this place a testimony that will shock everyone will happen to you a testimony that will make you the topic and the center of attraction in this meeting will happen to you Amen. receive it in the name of jesus Amen. begin to wave those hands wave those hands wave those hands wave them wave them wave them wave them wave them, wave them. Onisha Iyanu, you are the God of awesome wonders, a test of your powers. Onisha, Onisha Iyanu, you have shown me, you have shown me so much, more. much more than I deserve. Much more than I deserve. My eyes have seen it. My ears have heard the wonders of your creation, creations bow in all of you as we join to be you pray. The words we speak from things around. You're all stretched out. I was lifted. You took away the chains and bounds that had me bound. Me bound. Oh, me, sir. Oh, you are the God of us. I toasted. Show. You have shown me much more than I deserve. 